yes, I'm from Aussie Coin Pusher here. Well, um, very gappy. <laughs> Why am I playing it? Um, it's a challenge. I like a challenge, but after yesterday's game, I was really hoping for a, like a really simple, quick 10 minute game and that's it, I'm done. Um, but no, it's not the case. So clearly you can see the gap uh, in the middle and there's also quite a large gap just here too. So on a scale of one to 10 of hardness, zero being basically piss easy, um, I'm still gonna rate this as about a three to four. I don't think it's gonna be a hard game. The hardest part about it is to get coins to four. Uh, I've got 50 of them and I don't think that's gonna work. I'm hoping if I have to have another buy-in, 20 more coins will be enough. That's my only part I don't know about. So I'm gonna play it right hand side because that's the side I play. Oh shit, Jason. I'm hoping. <laughs> oh, there's a lot of hoping going on here. Um, that I can do this with just the 50 coins I've got. So what my plan is, play obviously one side. I don't like doing that, but um, look, I've got no choice. Now what I'm hoping to do is push these chips up against these coins and then the coins then will fall over. But the problem is there's big gaps in between. So I reckon Dave's noticed that. And that's why there are big gaps in between. Well, we'll see what happens. I mean, you never know until you drop a coin, right? Oh, no. What I'm looking for is movement down the bottom. Oh, I saw a bit of movement. <laughs> 50 nearly went down the whole part. Oh, that was a good push. That's it. Inch your way. Inch. <laughs> Oh, I found a gap. Uh, millimeter by millimeter, but that's all it takes, you know. And they all add up. I just don't want to waste a single coin if I can help it. Oh, look at that, already. Who would have known? I mean, this is exactly what I was hoping it was going to do. I'm just going to drop one or two on the other side just to start getting that going. Oh yeah. What have I got left? I got four in that hand, two in that hand. And one left. I'll take every quid I can get. Run the guts. Ish. <laughs> Alright, we got a little bit of movement just there. Oh, those are, that's interesting. Alright, let's tell it up. See what I got. Well, that's nine coins I didn't think I was going to get. I can tell you that. Alright, I'm just going to do the same. Right hand only. Man, if I don't have to have a second buy-in, oh, that would be so good. I just want to be patient. Every coin makes a difference. I got two coins left. Eventually I'm going to have to start playing the other side because I'm not going to get enough coins out of here to keep me going through the game. So I'm going to have to incorporate the other side soon enough. But I won't be doing that yet. <laughs> it's not over. As long as I'm holding coins, the game is not over. Oh, come on. I took a big risk then. I've got two coins left. You watch me find the gap. 
and the other guy. <laughs> Shit. All right, let's tell it up. Well, yep, that's not great. Still better than what I expected. All right, uh, what do you reckon? Right in the guts or stick to the right hand side? I'm gonna go to the right hand side. Oh, geez, that was close. <laughs> All right, let's tell it up. Well, it's much better than two, isn't it? Eh? <laughs> I mean, eventually I'm going to lose them all because I am only playing half. Uh, I sort of need to be playing the whole thing. Uh-oh. Um. Oh, thank you. So I'm going to drop two on the left-hand side. Wow. Yeah, I have two right in the middle. One on the right-hand side. Come on. All right. Well, we've got that knocked over, so let's start. All right. Let's tell it up. See what I got. Um, you know, there's about 10-ish, 10-ish coins there. So I just want to go a couple in the middle. That's it. Push the whole lot. Oh yeah. Right, I'm going to go two right in the middle, if I can. Uh, not quite. Close enough. <laughs> what it's doing at the moment is what I'm seeing it do is it's pushing the whole entire tray at the same time. That's why I'm going to start going in the middle. Well, uh, what's there, like 11? Maybe 10? 10. 10. Uh, 11. <laughs> Whatever. I don't think you really care too much. Oh, I think 50 bucks just fell. Oh, that was my first double stacked coin. Can you believe that? Jason. Well, I think it was my first one. Right in the middle. No, actually, I'm not going to go into the middle. I've got one coin left. Uh, I'm seeing a lot of gap in the middle, so I'm going to go to the far right. As I said, every count, every coin counts. <laughs> all right, let's tell it up. See what I got. Well, that's not too bad at all. Um, Fifty bucks, and <laughs> I'm still amazed I haven't had to have <laughs> haven't had that second buy-in yet. Um, it's not a buy-in. I can buy as many or as little coins as I want. So. Um, coins. Well, there's more than 10. That's the main thing. But I'll tell you what, though, if I can drop that, that's 50 bucks right there, plus the 50 I just won. If I need to, I can buy more coins. And it's not going to come out of my profit margin. Well, I mean, it does in the end. But it doesn't have to come out of my card, which is good. There were a lot of gaps up there on the right hand side. Oh, thank you. Oh, shit. Did they get stuck? It got stuck. Oh, it's slowly going down there. Come on, coins. Push it down. Okay, i got one left. Oh, that had to have unstuck it. Did it unstick it? Yeah, I can't see it anymore. Oh, another 50. Nice. <laughs> All right, let's tell it up. See what I got. Well, take a look at that. Hey, eh? <laughs> There's a hundred bucks right there. Plus, yeah, probably a good 20 coins. Easy 20 coins. There could be 25 coins here. Yeah, it could be. Have a little bit of a problem though. Um, one thing I've noticed when you oh no. One thing I've noticed when you do play, thank you, one half, 
is coins will always take the least resistance, right? So what's happening is I'm playing this half the most, and that's what's given me the coins, because I've got bugger all coins. If you have a look at the actual coins on the bottom tray itself, you can see a single layer through all of this area here, and then it goes into double layer, all right? Where's my finger? There, so a double layer pretty much across there. Coins are gonna take the least resistance, so if I start dropping them on this side to push this, will it start pushing on an angle and just continue pushing this? That's my, that's my problem. Well, that's what I think could be a problem, a potential issue. I mean, we'll find out, I guess. Oh, no, I could just push the whole bloody thing. <laughs> yeah, okay, definitely then. I just, I saw it right then, so it, it sort of twisted. This whole table twisted on an angle this one, the last coin that it dropped. Not much, but I did see it. Take a look at that, hey? 20 bucks, 40 coins, something like that, hey? <laughs> wow. All right, I don't really want to, that could be my missus. I am, I am supposed to be going over to Courtney's. Pretty much after this game, I'd say. Um, to help out with a play swing she wants installed. Alright, so what I want to do is I want to drop more coins on the left hand side than I do the right hand side. I'm not just going to play left. Uh oh. Come on, just push the whole trace flat. That'd be so good. It looks to be more than 50 bucks there. Okay, it's definitely doing what I'm saying, what I thought it would. So if you have a look at the left hand corner, bottom corner, it's not moving very much at all. It's moving more on this side than it is this side here. So basically it's doing exactly what I said. Now you can see pretty much a straight line going from corner to corner, sort of. Um, so yep, all single coins, and this is where all your coins are, located right here. So, um, yep, I think I've created a problem for myself. Well, there's 150 bucks there, and there's about 35 coins. So we did lose some coins, not many. Not enough to make me worry just yet. I'm not worried about that blue stack of tens, they'll go over in their own time. Thank you. Told ya. <laughs> Good push. Look at all the coins about to fall. I'm talking about right here. Thank you. This is what I was hoping for, a nice easy game. I mean, I'm still bugging after yesterday's marathon. <laughs> I don't, and I don't know why, but the backs of my legs are really sore. <laughs> like my hammies. <laughs> I got no idea. All right, that was my last coin. All right, let's tell it up, see what I got. Another 150 bucks, and we've still got about 40 coins. So we're up and down. <laughs> I'm not gonna say, <laughs> I'm totally not gonna say what I normally say. Uh, when you're going, you know, when, when the game is going like that, it take us and it give us away. Oh, uh, no, that was backwards. <laughs> you know what I mean. No, 
Das ist echt ein Kammer. Alright. Not a lot wanting to fall right now. I'm talking about coins, not chips. coins take a look at the top tray now this baffles me this and if anybody knows um you leave it in the comments for us will you um see that big gap they get a lot bigger than that too but right in the middle um there's, there's a gap it's like there's two coins missing everything's flat it's not like they're double stacked how does that even happen i, I don't understand um but anyway i'm gonna tell you see what i got well 50 bucks i'll take it um coins Probably about 45 coins, it might might be 50, and very I don't think there's 50, but they might be close. Now, remember yesterday how I was, I was telling you about my brother shaking that monkey's hand at the zoo? <laughs> same day. This is the same day. On his left hand he had a watch. Well, I think it was his left hand. Um, but he had a watch, and it was a flash watch, and it was a new watch. Um, he not long bought it. <laughs> I think it was his left hand, was it? His right hand, I can't remember now. But anyway, um, we went over to the croc enclosure. Uh, croc is short for crocodile, just in case if you didn't know. Uh, so we went over to the crocodile enclosure, and back then, I'm, I'm talking, well, <laughs> thank you. I don't really want to admit it, but it's a lot of years ago. Right? I'm talking 30, 40 years ago. Um, well, 35 or something like that, years ago. Man, <laughs> that makes me feel old. Um, so back then, they used to have open croc enclosures. Not like now, where it's all enclosed. Um, but yeah, back then, you used to be able to jump the fence quite easily. And this fence was not a high fence, trust me. And it was solid. And you could jump over there and literally be standing right beside a four-meter crocodile. Saltwater crocodile. Actually, I think it was bigger than that. So, not a lot of safety back then. But... <laughs> So, <laughs> and uh, mind you, we were just kids, right? We were just kids. I was very young. Uh, my brother was quite young too. So, uh, but what, what the, the crocodile was lying in front of us, and it was like two meters in front of us. And this is a big crocodile, right? It would eat you in a heartbeat if you were standing in there. And uh, it wasn't moving. It was just sitting there. I guess it was just basking, right? <laughs> and my brother wanted it to move. So, there is these very, very small nuts that come out of a tree. Just little tiny wood, wood nuts, right? Probably about the size of a pea, right? Uh, yeah, about the size of a green pea. So he picked up a bunch of them, and he's just one at a time, just lobbing these things onto this crocodile to try to get it moving, right? Well, <laughs> these things were so light, the crocodile probably didn't even think that it was anything, you probably didn't even feel it. So, uh, but anyway, what happened was his watch came off his hand and landed like... <laughs> and I still can picture this. It landed probably from the edge of the tra tra tray here to now, right? So when the tray's on its fully open position, right, about one foot, right, from its mouth. Right? <laughs> this is like his, his new watch. <laughs> and we're looking at it I wasn't laughing because you know he was <laughs> he would beat me up if I started laughing but anyway um, we were wondering how to get it back and he said he was going to jump the fence and grab it and it, this is literally like one foot away from this crocodile's mouth right, it's, it's a four meter crocodile probably bigger and <laughs> I'll be back in a minute well 40 bucks well 20 bucks <laughs> Shit. 
that you go anyway. Um, I don't know, what, 35 coins probably? Maybe? Yeah, maybe 35. Now you just saw that jump off my hand. It didn't fall off, it jumped off. Totally jumped off. I had no control over it. So I said to her, I said, just go and get one of the one of the people that work here. They might be able to get it out. And he goes, no way. And he thought he was gonna get in trouble, right? So um, <laughs> I said, don't jump the fence. I said, the bloody thing will eat ya. So what do you what do you end up doing? As I said, you know, there wasn't a lot of safety there. Um, you could literally walk right up to a lion's cage and well, lean over the, the barrier fence and put your hands up against, thank you. Put your hands up against where the lion is, basically. Quite easily. Now, it's all changed now, though. I mean, you can't do that anymore. But anyway, yeah, so he goes and finds himself a long stick. And he's trying to fish this thing. <laughs> and he's poking. <laughs> it was a long stick, right? So, um, you know, you don't have a lot of control. But, and plus he was young too, um, you know, and he's trying to, he's trying to fish this, <laughs> the band of his watch, he's trying to hook onto it, and he's poking, <laughs> he's poking the croc in, in the face, he's not meaning to obviously, um, and eventually he got it, he, <laughs> he got it, took him about an hour, <laughs> but he bloody got it back, unbelievable, oh, shit we used to do as a kid. All right, come on. Uh, what do you reckon? Little, nah, I don't, I don't think a coin dump. I don't want to. I don't want to stuff the top up. I'll go a regulated coin dump. That was all my coins. Oh, nice. Woo. All right, let's tell it up. See what I got. Well, eighty bucks. Um, probably thirty-five coins and a new chewy. Uh, if anybody's wondering, I quit smoking after my heart attack. My heart attack I had was 40, I'm 49 now. Um, so, and now I'm addicted to the smoking chewies. <laughs> but my cardiologist has told me that they are much better than smoking cigarettes. So, don't worry about it too much. coin left. I think I'm going to go far left hand side with it. Ish. Alright, let's tell it up. Sort of got. Well, that's much better. 30 bucks and probably 40 coins. Oh, let me clean them. Oh, yeah. Yeah, probably 40 coins. I thought there might have been 50, but no. Oh, come on. Ah, oh, that wasn't my fault. It got stuck in the machine. Thank you. What I call a push. Uh, another 60 bucks, mate, and yep, I'm gonna call myself that. This is exactly what the doctor ordered. Nice, easy, simple, no thinking, enjoyable game. Now that was my last three coins.
I'll take it. All right, let's tell it up. See what I got. All right, 60 bucks, and we definitely got 50 coins now, I reckon. All right, let's hope I can get these off with this handful of coins. Oh, not if I keep doing that. I don't want to play the right hand side. Oh, that's so close. I don't want to play the right hand side pretty much at all. Come on, tens. Might as well have a little go at that. Oh, there goes half of it. So close. Oh, come on, what have I got left? Two coins. No, three coins. I've got three coins. Come on. Yeah, that's got it. That's got it. That's got it. No, that hasn't got it. <laughs> Look at that bugger sitting right at the edge. All right, let's tell it up. See what I got. Well, we lost quite a lot of coins. There's about 35 coins there. So, yeah, about 15. About 13 coins we lost. So. <laughs> 40 bucks those are right. Okay, um, the second I drop that, I'm stopping the game. I'm not gonna go through and do what I did yesterday. I'm just gonna go two coins. Okay, I should have went three coins. <laughs> oh, come on, it did move. Yep, 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 nope. That's got it. Oh. <laughs> what a pain in the butt. There's always one in there. That's got it. That's totally got it. All right. That is very gettable. Uh, five coins by the look of it. Maybe two coins here and probably three or four coins on this side. It's not worth it. Uh, you can see the distinctive three lines. That means it's going to build up. I'm holding on to that. Well, yep, yeah, I'm, look, I'm more than happy. The game looks good. Now I'm a winner. Eh? <laughs> I am a winner. <laughs> yep very happy any profit makes me very happy I don't care what the profit is um, all right so the tally goes actually before I get into that I'll give you an update about the shirts no update all right so the tally <laughs> no I'm just kidding I'm kidding um, I haven't forgotten about it right now I've got so many different designs it's ridiculous um, but what I'm doing is because it costs uh, 22 Australian dollars just to send something to the US. This is not Canada. This is not anywhere else. This is just straight to the US. $22 uh, Australian dollars that is. Um, yeah, that's uh, that's ridiculous. So um, I want the whole bloody shirt and, and postage and everything to come to around that. So what I'm doing is I'm waiting. As soon as I hit 10,000 subscribers, and look, it will happen. It's going to take some time, but eventually when I do, I've already looked into it, and so has Courtney. Um, YouTube themselves have their own shop type of thing so um, and yeah, but they won't look at me until I've got 10,000 subscribers so which you know look on a business side of it yeah I can totally understand that so that's what I'm doing that's my plan for the shirts right now I'm just gonna hold back I'm gonna wait um, I still might give one or two away um, you know all that sort of jargon but yeah uh, to actually buy stuff not yet please be patient it is on its way slowly tell he goes I got 100 bucks in cash. I got 690. This I'm, I'm not sure about this. 690 dollars in chips. Is there a 10 dollar stuck in there? Um, did he make a mistake counting? Did I make a mistake counting? I didn't because I counted it twice, uh, thinking I did make a mistake. It's not. What I've counted is accurate. 
I'm wondering if something got stuck. So I did see other, other stuff get stuck in there. So I might ask Dave about that. Um, but anyway, uh, 690 bucks in chips. Um, I end up with 40 coins. So yeah, not bad, not bad. Um, happy enough with that, 40 coins. It's close enough to 50. Um, I always like to try to get 50, but uh, 40 coins is not bad with an empty deck. If there's an empty deck, yep, 40 coins is fine. Um, so that's 120 bucks there. Add everything together is $910. I think <laughs> 900 yep um, minus the 250 bucks that that I paid to play six hundred and sixty dollars so that's that's pretty good so um, yeah six hundred and sixty bucks as I said earlier nice easy game that's exactly what I want but I'll tell you what my legs and my back are still bloody sore <laughs> even now my back is caning me I'm gonna go cash this stuff in and I'll be back wrap your gurglers around that <laughs> that's eyeballs in Australian uh, three four five six hundred bucks sixty bucks to the tips jar um yep wow yep very happy very happy hey um i've got to ask a favor um so actually that well there's a few things going on at the moment so um we all know janice is having a very hard time of things at the moment um well if you didn't know she is and um look janice is i look at her as my sister i seriously do uh, we both speak the same um, we don't look the same, obviously, um, but you know, we we think the same, we act the same. Everything's bloody new and identical. Um, so yeah, so I I actually call her my sister. So um, and she's going through a really hard time at the moment. Um, Janice is a subscriber like you. I've never met her face to face. Um, I've seen a photo of her, obviously, and her family. Um, look, I'm not going to tell you what what her issues are. That's not my place. But um, her son possibly possibly may have COVID. So he's crook as a dog at the moment. So um, look, guys, if you can do me a huge big favor, uh, like a really big favor, just a personal favor to me, um, look, can you guys just um, give Janice and her two boys um, you know, a bit of uh, a bit of airtime, if you would, please? Um, would really mean a lot to me. So um, yeah, I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Anyway, um, yeah, so 600 bucks. I'm happy. So um, yeah, anyway, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more subscribe if you haven't but you really don't gotta um but i do appreciate it if you do um <laughs> anyway i'll see ya